you know, uh, despite all the good things religion had, we must, at least there's some things that are certainly not very good. And in marriage, one of the things was, very few marriages those days were romantic. Now you might say, a traditionalist might say, romance is not important. That it's more important to be in love, than to love rather than to fall in love. That it's more important to have stability than to have ecstasy. But maybe we can take the best from both kinds. Maybe that's not probably the best way, right? Because very few marriages early or even relationships early had romance. That's true. Very few had dating, very few had courtships, most of them arranged marriages. And that and, and romance was not even there for most parts, even post marriage. Maybe for the first night, that's probably the most romantic of the entire marriage. And then they settled down to mundaneness. But in many ways, I thought, I think that is unfair to women. It's probably why women have taken the reins and, and brought romance back. Because romance is very important, especially to women. And when you say women, you must understand, half of us are women. So it's not some minority we're talking about. In fact, if I'm not missing, it's probably close to the majority. If not, it's actually the majority, majority itself. So romance is extremely important. We should never just settle. We should never just look at only the pros of relationships. Poetry is extremely important, guys. Pros appeals to our head, poetry is to our heart. And I certainly think the heart aspect is what makes life worth living. Because all the great things in life, things you enjoy, what enjoy, the joy itself comes to your heart. On the other hand, in a life, in a, in, a, in, a, in a stressful modern life, where both of them are working, we have two kids screaming for attention at home, where you have fights about money and fights about your in-laws, or fights about us, our kids, our, our futures, everything else. Romance would seem to be the furthest from people's minds. Let me tell you, there are I think two, at least two things I would say this. Every married couple, no matter how old the marriage, or let's say how Mature the marriage. It should be like a ritual. And rituals are very, very important because even if you don't feel like doing it, you will do it because it has to be done. It is a categorical imperative, as Immanuel Kant would say. Two things are very important. At least one night a week, it should be a date night. It's just for the two of you. You could be a couple, or uh, married, or unmarried. One night just for the two of you. To rekindle the romance every one, uh, once every every week, and the hugging and the kissing and the sex, very very important. We might say sex is only about children, but it is predominantly about children. But sex is certainly also about bonding and pleasure. Keep that. You may not. It may not always be penetrative sex, but it's certainly part of. The foreplay, the afterplay, and all of it makes the play is very, very important. That's what keeps romance alive. Guys, if you like what you're what you're hearing, my talks about life, God, love, relationships. Please like, subscribe, comment. I'll be more than happy to hear from you. And any comment is good, and I'll probably even respond to you guys directly. Thanks for listening.